gonna be a bit of a fan uh, boy today, actually. I'm gonna be a bit of a fan boy, bro. Watching you work is, I've said this before, but now I'm really, uh, I don't know if I'm really, really, really impressed or just simply blown away by the way you navigate in the jungle of entrepreneurship. But bro, you fucking, it's unreal watching you work and watching you kind of like tackle things as they come to you. <clears throat> you do it with such skill, such uniqueness, such fucking, you know, I, I gotta tell you, such fucking talent. Yes, you have a hell of a work ethic. You've maximized the performance on your physical body, your machine, but you've also chiseled some type of warrior, gladiator, soldier, Viking, barbarian. Did I say soldier? Like, it's unbelievable what you've chiseled. I don't think you realize it. And I'd like you to take this moment right now as you're re-listening to me to kind of try to enjoy that fact <clears throat> that you are that elite and that you are, well, you're not only unstoppable, that's a fact, but you're kind of like untouchable kind of like unbreakable, kind of like invincible, like fuck. Life is good when it's in your hands. As far as business and entrepreneurship is concerned, it's such a gruesome game to play, the entrepreneurial game, crafting your dreams, that it's not for the mere mortals. There's a... Uh, you know how you have like the chasm or the chasm? Let's figure out how to say that once and for all, by the way. It's kind of like that. There's the pain chasm. And then there's what I would like to refer to as the craziness chasm. You got to go through this phase of crazy as an entrepreneur and i think that comes later on i think that comes in the big boys world like in big entrepreneurship i think the beginnings of entrepreneurship you kind of learn how to fucking deal with your emotions and can you keep going are you going to play it safe are you going to be a killer we left that out killer Samurai, are you going to be a fucking assassin? There's another one we left out. All of those things are not really required in this simple landscape to be just successful. But to be an elite entrepreneur, that you gotta kind of go through this crazy phase. In turn, making you insane because here's our conclusion every super elite entrepreneur is insane they contain it well they put on their normal person costume when they deal with public and when they do videos or when they fucking interact with anything but deep inside They've been transformed into a crazy person. They had to, they had to pass through Crazyville. And when you come out of Crazyville, you're not sane anymore. You're actually insane. You're very ruthless, cold-blooded, emotionless. It's pretty wild. It's a great place to be in. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a really cool place to be in. And you're kind of... I think you've kind of, you're either going, I think you're going through it. You're going through it. So you're not able to enjoy how good you are while you're being good. But I'm telling you, from the outside looking in, me watching you work, 
I'm not always, I'm always watching you, first of all. And me watching you work, I, I, I literally, bro, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe how good you are. It's fucking unreal. So take this moment just as you're listening to me to acknowledge that. 